Basket for Smaragda in the warehouse. She's waiting. What does it mean to be truly righteous? To never succumb to temptation, or to take a vow of chastity despite constant temptation? Our heroine did not know the answer to this question, and preferred never to dwell on it. If it were up to her, she would have chosen the quiet life of a nun. However, destiny had something different in store for her. For the sake of the prayers of all the... Stesha, do you have something prepared for Smaragda? It's cold today, isn't it? <laughs> oh, potato! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The sisters loved Indica. Christian love is known to be patient, merciful, and faithful. However, in a lowly human sense, they didn't love her that much. To be completely honest, they didn't love her at all. Many of them felt nothing but disgust for her. Indica, however, was not to blame. Were it not for the voice that was inculcating ideas in her, unforgivable for a Christian, she would have been a virtuous and rather mediocre nun. Indica's biggest dream was for that voice to leave her alone once and for all. Her entire life became a struggle, a painful resistance. No matter how hard she tried, no matter how much she tortured herself, the voice grew louder and more convincing every day.
Useless labor is the basis of spiritual development. Obedience is above fasting or prayers. Indica didn't understand why she needed to retrieve the water from the well if there was a pump next door that took it from a sacred spring. She didn't understand why drinking from the spring was allowed, but cooking soup was a sin. The well was only about 15 meters away from the spring. It was not possible to have any other water there. Even a tenth of it is the same. They say, on Epiphany, even a drop of holy water blesses an entire canister. If that were true, a couple of evaporated drops from the spring would bless the puddles beneath her. We haven't eaten even ten of them. With God's help, we'll make it to spring. No way. Sisters won't eat after her. Mother, the sign of the cross saves from the plague. But this... God forgive me. 
glory to. Smaragda, don't tempt me. I'm sending Evdakia to you. Don't let this one into the refectory. As an outlaw shall I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May my communion of thy immaculate mysteries, O Lord, not be judged or condemned, but heal the body and soul. It is forbidden to leave the convent without a blessing. Despite her requests, Indica had not been blessed to leave for a full year. When she was tasked with delivering the letter, it took her completely by surprise. Even though she did not know the contents of that letter, she could not shake the feeling that it would play an extremely important, perhaps critical, role in her life. Now that I know what's in it. What is in it? What's in it? For the sake of the prayers of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Tisha, I need to go to the other side. Georgie, pirate, be quiet. The animals feel the unholiness. They're just happy to see me. Tisha, I'm sorry. 
The animals feel the unholiness. I brought you some apples. Or Lovka, your favorite. Tisha, I must hurry to the train. fall again. Don't worry, Tichon, I understand. Forgive me, for Christ's sake. Indica loved Tihon. Imbecile was a medical diagnosis, so she was just using the word literally. In any case, Tihon couldn't hear her. Hypocrisy isn't really a virtue, is it? It was as if the convent didn't want to let her go. 
even when she knew there was no place closer to God, she yearned to leave it, at least for a short time. Not true! I have so much wisdom has had compassion on us, so also in these latter days has thou made us anew by thy bloodshedding. And now I cry to thee as the prodigal I have sinned before thee, O merciful Father, receive me. I am as barren of good deeds, but I beseech thee, O Lord, pour out upon me a drop of thy mercy and cleanse me, for I am defiled by many sins, and I will praise thy name all of the days of my life. As a disciple of the Lord, O just one, thou hast received the gospel as a martyr, thou art never turned away as the brother of God, thou hast boldness as a hierarch, thou canst intercede, do thou intercede with Christ God that he may save our souls. Now I have come unto thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and burden, and not having the boldness to look up into the heights of heaven because of the multitude of my transgressions. I have recklessly forgotten thy glory, O Father, and among sinners I have scattered the thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ, thy great mercy. As of old thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul, which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions, and by unseemly deeds and acts, that saved I may cry out, Glory to thy power, O compassion of Christ. Because of thy boundless mercy and compassion, I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the publican, prodigal, and the harlot. O ineffable and unseen grace, for who can tell of thy mighty works, O Christ, or who can number the multitude of thy wonders? As of old thou didst raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy godlike care and might, raise up my soul, which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions, and by unseemly deeds and acts, that saved I may cry out, Glory to thy power, O compassion of Christ. Carefully clean the devil's work from her dentures with her finger. Indica hated endless prayers that were repeated so much they lost their original meaning. Hated to smile at Sister Martha's toothless jokes. Hated the fuming candles, the rotting potatoes, the never-ending advice and lectures, the humility, the fear of God, signing the cross over her mouth after every yawn, before entering the temple, after crying, after leaving the temple, after entering the refectory, praying before entering her cell, before going to sleep, before having a meal, repenting. Father, and among sinners I have scattered the riches which thou gavest me. Like the man who fell among thieves and was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ, thy great mercy. And now I cry to thee as the prodigal I have sinned before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me, a penitent, and make me as one of thy... I hate it. Smaragda's tasteless... That even incense could not cover. Half this mercy and compassion I dare to approach thee, O Christ. Receive me as thou didst the public and protocol. Skill, just like her personal hygiene. Always at lunch, she would carefully clean the dust. Wisdom has had compassion on us, so also in these latter days has thou made us anew by thy bloodshedding. Now I have come. Jesus Christ, what, what, what are you doing here? You. The cloisters is here! Huh. What, what, what nun is you? fine. The conventual is here! The nun. But, but, listen, you're, you're lucky to b bump into me. I, I, I keep missing and I'm, I'm no g good at this. <laughs> Just, what? Go, 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 go. Get out of here. What? What? I, who's there?
lucky to bump into him. He's not a great shot. Yes. Sorry, I can help if you let me. No, I don't think it can be helped. His nobleness has decided to listen to the visitation one last time. So let him listen. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, what, what happened here? Have you heard the joke about a crowbar in a train toilet? So, there was this train with a bunch of convicts. They put a spring between two carriages while the train was moving. They tried to plan an escape, I guess. How many died? Mostly fugitives. Many of them were shot. Have had to care for the sick. Of course, we often have to. Then come with us to the station. All the wounded are there. 